all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you today our topic is very simple but yet it's very confusing uh, and for sure it's confusing for those who don't have knowledge uh, before we start please invite your friends share the link on Facebook Twitter wherever you can so we can get more people to be with us and to learn and don't forget about uh, to download the video after we finish broadcast the God of Islam his name supposedly is Allah if we search trying to find out from the Muslims who is Allah you will find the most funny silly answers ever you can imagine but we have to be honest here not only Muslims they have silly answers sometimes even Christians have silly answers not only about Allah even about if you ask him about Jesus But the problem is, if somebody is a Christian and he don't know really much, that's because he is not educated. But in Islam, no Muslim knows who is Allah. And actually, the educated Muslim is more confused from the uneducated Muslim. So in Christianity, we might find somebody, like just yesterday we were talking about Jesus, and then some Christians they say Jesus was a Jew. Oh, okay, well, he is your God or he's a Jew? No, he is a, his, his God and he is a Jew. So here is notice that this is a childish thinking. He is your God, he is the God of the Jews. He is born between the Jews. He is born from a woman, she is a Jew. But his existence have nothing to do with his birth. Before Abraham I am. So we know the existence of Jesus he said, I am the beginning, I am the end, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. Still, you'll find some silly who do not know really who is Jesus, and they think he is just a Jew. He is the God of the Jews. He is the King of Kings. He is the beginning, he is the end. Everything was created by him and for him, which means the Jews are created for him. So how you say he is a Jew? So uh, the problem is, we have people who have a very a naive thinking. It's like, you know, you ask a person, describe for me, uh, uh, did you go to uh, the palace uh, of, uh, let us say, uh, famous palace, let us say, the most famous place? And he don't remember anything from the palace except the door. That's it. This is the whole palace. So human being, there's many of them or let us say many of us they are very uh, surface thinking especially when it's come to God because thinking about it deeply maybe it is tiring for some so they are lazy even to think when we speak about God and you claim that you believe in God shouldn't you know even who's your God as an example if a Muslim says to me well, how you believe that Jesus is God and yet he is a man? Well, God, he can be whatever he wish. And he is God because he is almighty God. So if God cannot be man and cannot be God in the same time, that means he cannot be almighty. So here you contradict the, the logic of calling God almighty. So why you call him almighty? Why you call him almighty if he is limited? If he is limited in ability, if he is limited to be what he wants to be or what he is. So are you going to be the one who decide what God can be? And this is here the problem with oh, Hold on Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. Sorry for that, guys. I have a delivery from Gabriel. Uh, by the way, in Islam, there is no Gabriel, there is Jibreel, just in case you do not know. There is no Gabriel. 
there's Jibreel, which means even the name is wrong. Now we go back to our topic. If we try to read articles about Allah, Allah God. To God, Allah belong 99 names. Supposedly now the Muslim who made this article, he is telling us who is Allah. And now he gave us an answer. Allah have 99 names. <laughs> what does this have to do with who is Allah? And if you read the names, you will see how funny, how silly they are. As an example, Allah is the proud. As an example, Allah is the believer. Allah believe in what? So when when somebody speak about God and we ask him who is your God and he do not know, obviously he is very confused. He do not know. So why you are telling me Allah have 99? And by the way, why Allah have 99 names? Well, what does that mean? What is what is that exactly? And the funny Muhammad, he have 99 names and Allah has 99 names. How that could be? So you just made an, a man equal to your God. Both have names and actually they share the same names almost. And by the way, if we ask the Muslims where the 99 names is coming from, they will not be able to, to, to show us the 99 names in the Quran. And actually I challenged the Muslim to show us the 90 names of Allah from the Quran. They cannot find them. It's a fabrication. Muhammad, he said it, and the Muslims copy paste. And Muhammad always he say things which is false, and Muslims they copy and nobody notice. And I will give you an example of false explanation for the Muslims about who is God. It is known the fact every language has one or more term that use reference to God, and sometimes to lesser deities. This is not the case with Allah. Allah is a personal name. Until now, by the way, he is being honest, but not too much. Which is a true God. That's it. This is the only true God. That's it. If you have the front name, you, have, you are wrong. This is the wrong God. Okay. Nothing else can be called Allah. Nothing else. Nothing, nothing. Hmm. The term has no plural or gender. This is shows its uniqueness when compared with the word God, which can be plural gods or feminine God. By the way, this is false. Because how you confirm there's no gender for it if this is not even an Arabic word? Where you where you get this from that this is not without gender? And actually, we can prove that this is have a gender. If we go in the Quran. We will find <coughs> your God Allah saying the following Your God Allah saying the following Not my God, your God. And I challenge the Muslims to say, uh, That Allah has no gender. And we will see how that can be. When we speak about Allah, why the Muslim they keep saying he if Allah has no gender? If the word Allah has no gender, why they keep saying he, his, him? You know what I mean? You see, uh, once uh, uh, a Muslim said to a Christian, why Jesus is a male, not a female? A Muslim asking question, why Jesus is male, not a female? So now the Muslim is trying to use his brain. Okay, why God, why Jesus is not a female? Let us say, why God don't have a daughter? Why he have a son of God? Well, why don't ask yourself first, the God of Islam, he reject to have daughters, and actually the Arab before Islam 
they worship the three daughters of Allah. So when you ask a Muslim, you as a Muslim, why Jesus was male or or he is a male, not a female. Why you don't ask yourself why Allah get upset that the one who worship females is worshiping the Satan? It is your God who make a big issue about gender. Jesus coming as a male does not change the fact that still he is holy. He have no sex. He have no partners. He have no female partner. So being as a male will not change the fact that he is God in the same time. Additional to this. Do Islam accept females to be a prophet? In the Bible, we have women who they are prophets and judges. Prophets and judges. And you can go right now, search in Google. You will find many well-known names. In Islam, we cannot find one person is considered to be a prophet and she is a female. And Allah believed that those who worship a deity, which is a female deity, they are worshiping the devil. Allah have a complaint. And he said, Do you take for yourself children who they are male and for Allah is the female? So what Allah is a problem? Allah, he is complaining that the Arab, they gave him the daughters and they took the sons. Allah don't like that. And even he says, this is for sure indeed unfair division. So if Allah not a male, why he is so much upset about the gender? If the God of Islam don't care about being male or female, why worshiping a female is an issue for Allah? And why he like to have a male? Even the angels, Allah, he refused according to the Quran. And when I say Allah, that's me, Muhammad. He says that those who they are kuffar, the bad ones, is the one who give angels female names. So even if you give angels female names, you are a bad person, you are satanic. And not only that, is there is any angels or females? Absolutely not. Chapter 17, verse number 40. Are you serious? You Arab, you believe there is angels who they are females? You are disgusting. That's what it says. So when a Muslim, he speak about his God, saying that Allah is a plural word, has no gender, that is a big fat lie, because every word in the Quran saying he, he, he. However, still we need to prove it more and make it more clear. Shall we make it more clear? <clears throat> Because a Muslim, he might say, oh, this is not enough. So what if it says it is he? Eh, not a big deal. Do you have a clear proof that Allah is a male God? For sure we have a clear proof. But are you willing to read it, Muslims? Are you willing to accept what is written in your books? Are you willing to be brave and to say, that is a crazy If we go in the Quran, and we have tons of verses in the front of us, all the Quran speak clearly that Allah, he reject females, he like males, and all his prophets are males, and all the angels are male. You remember when we showed you the verses saying that are you going to give names of females to the 
uh, to the angels you must be a kafir that's mean Allah he is confirming that only all the angels he have the army otherwise why he upset from giving names to the females and why he's upset if you believe that an angel he is a female obviously Allah is upset for he rejects such an idea this is a disgusting idea for Allah do we have any Muslim in the text any Muslim making a challenge again just to remind reminder if there is any Muslim he claimed that he is a sheikh or etc if you have a Facebook page post in your page that I challenge Christian Prince to debate me we will check your Facebook if you are really a sheikh not just a kid you know I will I, will, I just give, give us your Skype and I will call you immediately but after you post in your Facebook and we check that you are a legitimate person and when we say legitimate we mean you know not anyone claim to be okay I want to debate Christian press because we want people to uh, to have a benefit of a conversation conversation with kids as useless now if we go in the Quran we will find a clear verse saying that Allah is a male and he have a penis how we can prove that in chapter 21 verse number 17 and this is the Muslim translation by the way I have nothing to do with it I'm just showing you whatever they have in their in the in the screen as it is. It says that if Allah wanted to have lahwan, uh, and here in in the English they said pastime. Lahwan in Arabic is a word mean a woman, which is coming from the word fun. So if we want to take a woman as partner, we will take it from our kind. Now, if Allah is not male, why and how Allah will take a woman to be his partner? You know what I mean? Now, some Abdul, they might say to you, this guy is lying. There is nowhere in the Quran it says what he is saying. So what we will do now? As you know, we don't say things without giving reference and proving it to you. That will be not right. The Muslims accuse us to be lying even when we show it in the screen. So imagine if we don't show it. So chapter 21, verse number 17, we will go in front of you and we'll read the interpretation together. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan owned by the corrupt King of Jordan. Who claimed to be from the family of Muhammad and this is the Muslims interpretation not mine I have nothing to do with it this is tafsir al Jalalain. had we desire to find some diversion that which provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child we would have found it with ourselves from among Oh, 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 read carefully with me among what among what guys do you see it there do you see it among what among the beautiful eyed huris those are the females which Osama bin Laden and all the mujahideen Allah promised them to have bing bing boom boom with them so if Allah is not a male how Allah is going to have versions who they are a human to in his bed if he desire the 
Do you understand? Do you understand people? If Allah is not a male, not a female, as they claim, and they lie to us always, but yet all oh, the Quran says it is he, it is he, it is to him, it is he. Why you don't say it is she? Okay, say sometimes she, say sometimes he. Or what about say he, she? Like Shamshi. This verse confirm that if Allah want to have a woman for fun, for sex, lahwan. Now, oh, by the way, we can show you from the Islamic interpretation that the word lahu mean women. We are not making things up. And I will change any Muslim to say this not doesn't mean. And even here, even your scholar says that if you want to take a partner or a child, which means if you want to have a wife or a girlfriend to do bang bang with her, to have a child, he will choose him from what? And here we have a problem. Anyone notice what the what the problem? Additional to having sex with the beautiful eyed women. Anyone notice? <clears throat> Adjust the screen. Oh, you don't see it all. Okay, sorry. Better now. All right. So, what is the what is the other problem here in the screen you see with me? Somebody help me. Ourself. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Rizito. Rizito. Can't you make your name uh, easier for me to read it, my friend? How Allah is one, and now Allah will have sex with ourself. As you see, when He said ourself, He said from among the beautiful eyed and the huris and the angels, which means it's possible for Allah to have sex with the angels. So Allah is a bisexual. The female are the beautiful eyed huris. The angels are males, and we showed you the verses from the Quran. You can't even give them names of females. So Allah saying, not me, if Allah want to if somebody, he will if ourself, which means himself. And then he explain what is ourself is. He says, the one I will if first, I will start with the beautiful eyed women or the angels. Any Muslim here can answer? You see, look at the Muslims in the chat. They are calling me names, but nobody can answer me. Call me all the names you want. I mean, here we go. This is your scholar. This is your Islamic website. It's not my website. So what we will do now? Huh? Any Muslim? Uh, uh, the guy, his name is CP the liar, and Noah he drank in wine and uh, he was naked in his tent. So, <laughs> brother, I was naked yesterday too. I took a shower. I mean, this is how silly they are, they have no answer. We have God is going to F himself, and they are worried about Noah. Who is Noah? What is a big deal? You're a prophet, he was naked. Do you want to show you the hadith? You're a prophet. He ran to open the door, open the door to men, and he is totally naked. And you're a prophet was a drunken. And not only that, you Muslims, you pray and you are a drunk. And even the Quran registered that. And you're a prophet used to teach the Muslims how to make wine. But we don't want to change the topic, but just to, you know, just to spank you a little bit, you know, just for like a snack, you know, so you can get busy. Is that your Quran or this is my Quran? Who are they, the Abdul, who used to pray and they are drunk? Are you the Abdul? You are making fun of Noah and he was a drunk. All of you Muslims were a drunk in the mosque. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم برادر 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 They arrested a woman in Saudi Arabia airport and she have a bottle of whiskey with her black label. So the police he said to her, aren't you ashamed of yourself in this age to bring whiskey with you to the city of Mecca? She said, my son, I'm very old. He said, what does this have to do with drinking whiskey? She said, I cannot go around the Kaaba. I drink this whiskey, the Kaaba will go around me. That makes sense. So Abdul, don't talk about Noah was drunk. Your prophet is a drunk. You Muslims are a drunk and your God himself is a drunk. Don't you see what he's saying? He's going to if himself. We go back to the topic. Here we notice that we have three problems. Problem number one, it is possible for Allah to have sex. Otherwise, it's going to be stupid to say, if we wish to have a partner for sex, we will take it from the women or the angels, but he cannot do it. So what do you mean, if we wish, if you cannot do it anyway? You know what I mean? If I say to you, if I want to buy, I will buy from this store. That's mean I am able to buy. Is that correct? Do you, do you understand me, guys? Am I understood? If I say to you, if I drive a car, I like to drive uh, four wheels drive. That's mean I, I can drive, right? So when I say if I want to have sex, that's mean I can have sex. Otherwise, why you are saying if I want to have sex? The screen is burly. The screen is not good, guys. Did you say the word al-wadud? You have to say the word al-wadud, 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 and then uh, you might have heart attack. It's your internet, my friend. So, when Allah he says to ourselves, Allah destroy all the Muslims who claim that Allah is one. If we go to the Muslim articles, they say to us right away, the oneness of Allah. I mean, they give you a headache with the oneness of Allah. Allah is one. I, who care if Allah is one or four, Abdul? Who care? I mean, this is not my this is not my topic. Let us say Allah is seven. Let us say Allah is twenty. The question is, He is one or two or three, or He or, or, or is exist or not? If there is somebody have a he worship ten thousand gods and they are exist, it's mean he's right. So what the numbers have to do with the proving anything? So the Muslim is so proud. We believe in the monotheism. You're right. Well, Shaitan, he believe his God, and there is many they worship him. Right now, there is a church in, in 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 San Francisco, Satanic Church. It's called the Church of Satan. You will see them wearing blacks and putting rings in their noses and their ears, etc. They worship Satan. They believe he's the only God. Now, here we go. This is monotheism. So what monotheism mean? So we ask you, who is your God? You say to me, Allah is monotheism. Well, nice to meet you, monotheism. Hey, monotheism, how are you? Well, monotheism, I am one too. I must be God. Trust me, I am not two. The only time I feel like I am too, uh, you know, if I like go in a, in a in the mall, you know, like you see, there's many mirrors and uh, windows, etc. So you see reflections. Like suddenly, I became many, and because I'm an Arab, I get scared sometimes. So they keep repeating for us, our God is one. So, but you do not know who is your God. Who is the Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge between all those who are playing in their noses, trying to find some boogers to throw at me. Who can answer us how Allah He says ourself, and He is talking here about taking partners. When we ask Muslims about we, they say we, it's a majestic, like a king. He says we. So Allah copying the kings? That's funny. 
so he's not we but he call himself we so why sometimes he say he and why say he sometimes he say I why you don't always say we 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 so Allah when Allah he say we he don't mean that he is many it is his one oh, okay but when Allah he says ourself he mean what any Muslim can tell me When Allah is saying ourself and he's speaking about having sex with the partner Are you insisting Muslims that ourself mean Allah will have sex with himself? <coughs> Anyone remember how shaitan have sex in Islam? <coughs> Anyone who remember how shaitan have sex in Islam with himself anybody remember? I don't want to draw here, but it's okay. I mean, we, we, we will try not to make it too much. According to the Muhammadan, not to me, Allah created shaitan. This is shaitan. Okay, this is shaitan. Let us make him handsome. Handsome shaitan. Okay, this is shaitan. Very handsome. This is his nose. I saw him in the circus last time, circus, you know. And then suddenly, he, this is uh, his body. Okay. And those are his legs. Okay, now we are going to go to suspense and action. The Muslims, they were wondering how the shaitan, how Allah, he says, are you going to worship shaitan and his kids? But Allah, he kicked only one shaitan from heaven. So how he have kids? He did not kill a female with him. So they come with an idea. Or Muhammad by uh, inspired them. That Allah, he have a penis in the right leg. This is his penis. And he have a vagina in the left leg. So when shaitan want to have sex, he shake his legs and he if this with that. Alhamdulillah. Now we found the reason how shaitan have babies. And then shaitan, after he shake his legs and do bing bing to himself, then he lay down 10 eggs. 10 eggs. Not 9 or 99 like Allah, no. They are 10, brother. 10 eggs. Now from every egg, how many, how many shaitan they will be born? Anyone remember? Anyone remember? Nobody remember how many shaitan they are going to come from each egg? 70, thank you. 70 egg. So now, okay, let us calculate our numbers. Shaitan, he laid 10 eggs from every eggs we have. Uh, 70. But here, here is the beauty. The 70. She, the 70 babies are not all male they are male and female shaitan so only the first shaitan he was male and female in the same time so 70 x 10 what is the total 700 beautiful cute satan male and female are born from the first day and every day, every day, not every month, this is every day. Shaitan he if himself by shaking his legs until now, nothing changed because he doesn't have a wife still. So Allah, you know, I mean, He is the all wise. He taught us how Shaitan he did if himself. Now we go back to Allah. When Allah He says, if I want to have sex, I will have sex with ourselves. Is Allah going to do what shaitan did? Or he is going to sleep with the beautiful eyed women as you see here in the screen. The Muslim's opinion is Allah will not F himself. He is going to do boom, boom. I, I learned this word when I was in Asia. Uh, a woman, she said to me, sir, do you want to do boom, boom? I said, what is that, bing bong? So Allah want to do boom, boom. 
ourself and then we find that ourself is women so how Allah is God but yet he is ourself is a human guys do you understand what I'm saying If Allah is not a man, Allah is not a human, how the partner is a human and how he call it a human ourself. Getting my point? Any Muslim have an answer? Uh, uh, additional to throwing boogers at me? Uh, by the way, the, the, uh, the, the prophet, he used to uh, clean the boogers from the wall of the Kaaba. I can show you the reference. I mean, this is how decent the Muslims are around the Prophet, putting their burgers in the wall of the Kaaba. You today, you lick it and you kiss it, and they used to put their burgers in it. And this is why there's a, there's a, 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 a like a singer, uh, uh, he, she used to sing, uh, I can boogie, boogie, boogie. This is like a, bo a Kaaba, bo a bo in a booger, like booger, booger. So wh what is the answer? Anyone knows? What is the answer? Additional to calling me names. Hmm? And the Muslim, they say that we never desire, but the way it doesn't say that. Nowhere it says, and we never desire. This is like, in, you know, this is in the interpretation. But in Arabic, it doesn't say we never desire. It says if we are going to do. Nowhere it says, and we don't desire. In kunna failing. If we are going to do so. So after speaking all this time about Allah, do we understand who's Allah? No. All what we know that Allah's sexual appetite is not working these days. If he desire to if he will if the black eyed women look at this here, Allah He says to us that those are women, nobody touched them. But the fact he is, he might because remember, this is a verse Allah He said 1400 years ago, maybe a week after he got horny. And how Allah and Shabir Ali, they can if the same women. To make it simple for you, as long the the target is the beautiful eyed virgins, which I suspect very much they are virgins. So if this is Shabir Ali, this is brother Shabir Ali, this is Shabir Ali here. This is his beard. And this is number 19. Because wherever he go, he keep talking about number 19, number 19. Like this is what he have in his hat. So this is brother Shabir Ali. And this is his beard, which is very beautiful and very zigzag. I wish I have a beard like this beard. All right, Shabir Ali. When he go to heaven, brother, he will have the same virgins as Allah. So Allah and Shabir Ali, they have one partner. It's a beautiful, sexy, one mile ass female. By the way, I, I explained to you before why Muhammad he said that their eyes will be one mile. Anyone remember? Anyone remember? Why Muhammad he advised he told them I will give you one mile ass females? Hmm? 
the Arab, they like big women. Uh, I told you, like when I was a kid, uh, there is a song. I did not understand really what it's mean. You know, I mean, like because it says that she is so beautiful to the point the camel could not carry her. And I was wondering what the beauty have to do with the camel carrying her. But later, when I start studying and researching, I found that the Arab in the old days believe that if a woman she is big, huge, that means she is healthy and she is good in bed and she will give you a lot of babies. So the bigger, the better. So Muhammad, he knew what the Arab like. So he promised them that he will have a woman. Her ass is one mile. And by the way, I am complaining still because why one mile? I mean, why you don't make it two miles? I mean, what are you losing? I mean, what's wrong with this God? Why you are cheap, man? Make it two miles. What about 65 miles? I saw a TV in the other day, 65 inch. I would love to have a wife. She have 65, 65 mile bum. And don't ask me what I'm going to buy panties for her. She will be naked anyway. In America, it's called uh, big love. What big love? What if you are a small? <laughs> you know, what if you are five, five, five foot, and your wife as alone is one mile, and she decides to sit in your lap? What will happen to you, cockroach? <laughs> she will say to you, "Honey, where are you? <laughs> Honey, where are you?" And you say, "I can't breathe." <laughs> yeah. We will see you in the graveyard, brother. Back to the topic. So who is the Muslims from those who they are in the bushes want to tell us why Allah is saying if you want to have sex we will have sex with ourselves from the beautiful eyed women Any Muslim Any Abdul want to say something? You keep lying to us, saying our self mean uh, His Majesty, our self uh, Allah is one. Here we go. Allah is one, but He called Himself our self. And when He speak about our self, He mean effing somebody from His kind. Correct, guys? Because when I say from our self, that's mean from our kind. If I say myself, that's mean from me. As simple as that. Our self, it's mean it's not one. We are many, but all of us from the same kind. Self. If you don't understand English, Abdul, go and translate the word ourselves. What does that mean? So who is the Muslim? Who is the beautiful Muslim? Cute Muslim would give us the answer. <laughs> 